Ethiopia, a volatile situation show no sign of abating a month after Colonel Gaddafi was ousted from power. The country's interim leaders are struggling to form a cohesive cabinet while their forces remain locked in battle with Gaddafi's remaining supporters. Defiant loyalists are making a last stand in three key cities. Sirt, Bani Walid and Sabha have been under heavy assault for more than a week with reports Gaddafi and his sons could be hiding out there. Meanwhile, the rest of the country is reeling from months of civil war that's left tens of thousands dead. Ongoing NATO airstrikes have also reportedly killed a number of civilians by mistake, but some Western leaders are now facing charges at home over the military intervention. Just a warning, you may find some of the images in Daniel Bushel's report disturbing. As NATO forces retreated from Bani Walid and their performance was drastically weakened, the mercenaries then tried to descend from the rear front line, but they failed and were captured. There are 17 of them, among them technicians and specialists, including two Brits, one Asian person from a non-Arab country, and one Qatari, and the rest are French. Images like these are moving French lawyers to turn against their government. Nicolas Sarkozy faces lawsuits over the deaths of ordinary people in Libya. Lawyers here in France accuse the president of committing crimes against humanity. This lawyer calls the Libyan war a new Vietnam, where the US sprayed tens of millions of litres of toxins on crops in the 60s and 70s, causing brain disorders, miscarriages and birth defects to this day. They're using missiles with depleted uranium, which causes cancer. In Tripoli, I saw people crippled by NATO attacks, office workers who have nothing to do with the fighting. That's why we're suing President Sarkozy for crimes against humanity. NATO first denied bombing this residence, where 13 civilians, including four children, died. It then called the place a military command centre. This journalist went to see what it really housed books, uh, video of Spider-Man, uh, toys and cultural books and everything, it's nothing, nothing military. In another attack, Khalid Olawidi's wife, child and grandchildren were reportedly killed in their home. NATO is accused of deliberately waging a campaign of terror. Their bombings targeted Libya's electricity, water and food supply. After five months of deadly NATO bombs and thousands of deaths, people will stop supporting the regime because they simply cannot take it anymore. Western leaders are poised for their first big legal challenge over Libya. If they stop the cases coming to court altogether, as Chikoldi, it will prove once and for all that Western justice really is run by politicians, not the rule of law. Daniel Bushel, RT, Paris. <laughs> تاريخية سيكتبها تاريخ البشرية يوجهها الشعب الليبي للمعمورة للدنيا للعالم للكرة الأرضية بقاراتها الستة